hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again peace be upon you all in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, this uh, cardigan i have already made this one um, but i'm going to show you guys this one i'm going to make this one for the sake of the video and the yarn i used in this one is this yarn uh, and uh, yeah, there is no yardage of the yarn but it's 8 ply acrylic yarn I used in this one and uh, in this one I used this Danish yarn into the 100 uh, sorry 50 gram of the yarn there is 133 meters of the yarn and in this one I used this yarn and there is 133 meters of the yarn into 50 gram of the yarn and this is also acry acrylic yarn and uh, the crochet hook I used is 4 millimeter my all time favorite uh, uh, crochet hook and that is 4 millimeter crochet hook there are just two different, si different sizes this one is from uh, size 0 to 3 months and the length the width of this cardigan is approximately uh, nine and a half to ten inches and the length of this cardigan is approximately ten inches and uh, this one is from three to six months old uh, what you call it babies and the width of this one is approximately 11 inches or 10 and a half to 11 inches and the length of this is, it's a little bit longer than the other one the length is approximately 12 inches I, uh, I what you call it repeated same pattern same row same numbers of the stitches and all that and same uh, crochet hook I used but they are made in different sizes due to the uh, yarn yes uh, and that's it I tried my level best to make it as easy and uh, as understandable and as detailed as I could still if there is anything that is confusing please comment below and I will try my level best to help you guys uh, so let's get started so the starting point of this cardigan is going to be here on the neckline and for that what we are going to do is first of all we are going to make a slip knot and then we will make some basic chains so first of all <coughs> make slip knot like that and then make chain 55 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 I will make rest of the chains off camera and then I will resume the video when I have completed basic 55 chains. Now skip first three chains, first, second and third and into the fourth one, one, two, three. This is the fourth one. We are going to make a double crochet into the fourth uh, chain like that and then make one plain did I say single crochet I meant double crochet and then make one double crochet into each and every chain all the way to the end Thank you. 
one plain double crochet into each and every chain all the way to the end chain 3 1 2 and 3 and turn around make one double crochet into the next double crochet this starting chain 3 counts as our first double crochet two double crochets into the next one and two one double crochet into next three double crochets one two and three two double crochets into the next one and two again one double crochet into the next three double crochets one two and three and two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern this small section we are going to repeat all the way to the end by making one double crochet into next three double crochets and then two double crochets into the next <coughs> we are going to make an increase every fourth stitch all the way to the end repeating the section of pattern for the last time uh, after that we should have one double crochet and one chain three left we will make a double crochet on the top of double crochet and one double crochet on the top of our starting chain three at the end of this round you should end up with 66 uh, double crochets now what we will do is we will make chain three one two and three and turn around and next round is very simple and easy what you, you will do is that you will simply make one double crochet into each and every double crochet we are not going to make any increasings in this round like that one double crochet into each and every double crochet all the way to the end <clears throat> chain 3 1 2 and 3 turn around and then make one double crochet into next double crochet this starting chain 3 always counts as our first double crochet uh, in this video if it's not counted as our first double crochet I will mention that so make one double crochet into the next double crochet two double crochets into the next one and two then make one double crochet into next three stitches one two three and then two double crochets into the next one two again one double crochet into next three uh, double crochets one two and three two double crochets into the next one two this is the small section we are going a small section of the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end we will make one double crochet into next three stitches and then two double crochets into the next we are going to make increasing every fourth stitch to the end after completing the set this small section of our pattern we shall for the last time we should end up with two double crochets and one starting chain three what we will do is we will make one double crochet onto 
both double crochets crochets and also on the top of our starting chain 3 as well at the end of this round you should end up with 82 double crochets what we are going to do is we are going to make chain 3 1 2 3 and we are going to repeat this round round number 3 which is that we will make simply one double crochet into each and every stitch without making any increasing so at the end of this round as well you should end up with 82 double crochets make one double crochet into each and every double crochet to the end chain 3 1 2 and 3 turn around and make one double crochet into next double crochet two double crochets into the next one and two and then one double crochet into next two double crochets one two two double crochets into the next one and two one double crochet into next two double crochets one and two two double crochets into the next one and two this is the small section we are going to repeat we will make one double crochet into next two double crochets and then we are going to make two double crochets into the next we are going to make increasing every third stitch all the way to the end after repeating the pattern for the last time the small section of the pattern after repeating it for the last time we should end up only one these this chain three starting chain three left we will make one double crochet into that and at the end of this round you should end up with 109 um, uh, nine uh, double crochets the next round the row number eight is going to be the copy of our third row what we will do is we will make one two three chains and we will simply make one double crochet into each and every double crochet no increasings will be made in this round so simple one double crochet into each and every double crochet all the way to the end and uh, at the end of this round as well you should end up with 109 double crochets chain 3 1 2 and 3 and turn around and make one double crochet into next double crochet and then two double crochets into the next one and two and then one double crochet into next two double crochets one and two two double crochets into the next one and two again one double crochet into next two stitches one and two and then two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make one double crochet into next two double crochets and then two double crochet into the next we are going to make increasing every third stitch after repeating the uh, small section of our pattern for the last time we should end up only chain three left we will make one double crochet on the top of that chain three and at the end of this round this was last increasing round and at the end of this round you should end up with 145 double crochets including the chain three what we will do now is that I will do some marking because we are now we will start uh, 
to do the separation for the armholes and back and front side so we will need some counting to do just for the sake of video what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some stitch markers so that it's easy to work and I don't have to count the sti uh, stitches again and again so what we will do is that from here we will count uh, 23 stitches uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 12 divided by 2 is 22 so into 23rd stitch i will place a stitch marker and now what i will do is that i will skip 26 stitches i will start counting after uh, this uh, the what you call it after this stitch marker i will start counting 26 double, uh, double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 divided by um, 2 is 26 so we will place a stitch marker into 27th double crochet now from this uh, what you call it uh, uh, the next uh, first first uh, count first stitch that we will count will include this stitch where we have placed our stitch marker we will skip next 47 stitches so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 this is a uh, 46th uh, what you call it um, stitch into 40 uh, sorry we will skip 47 stitches and into 48 stitch we will place a stitch marker again starting from this uh, no sorry we will place stitch marker into 47th double crochet and this will be counted as our back side from here to here and now we will again skip next 26 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 and into 27th stitch we will place a stitch marker and now from here to here you should have 23 stitches left and just do the counting once again so that there is no um, uh, so that there is no confusing confusion uh, I'm sorry I had to uh, do some counting off camera so I will repeat the numbers of the stitches once again we are going to uh, make a uh, place first uh, stitch marker into 23rd stitch from here to here this is where we have placed our stitch marker this is 23rd stitch then we will skip 26 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 and then we will skip 26 stitches and into 27th we will place a stitch marker now counting counting from the stitch where we have placed our stitch marker we will count 47 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 8 9 17 And this is our 47th stitch into 48 uh, stitch number 48 I have placed a stitch marker and from this stitch marker we should count 26 stitches 1 2 3 4 I made a mistake here so we will count again 
because from here to here there should be 26 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 13 So from this uh, stitch marker, we are going to count this stitch marker as well from this stitch marker until one stitch before the next stitch marker, we should have 26 uh, double crochet. And from this stitch marker, we are going to count this stitch as well where we have placed our stitch marker from here to here, we should have 23 stitches. I will, I will tell the numbers of the stitches once again. So that there is no confusion from here to here there are 23 stitches and then from here to one stitch before the stitch marker there are 26 stitches now counting our first stitch uh, where the first stitch where we have placed our stitch marker to one stitch before next stitch marker there should be 47 stitches now counting the stitch where we have placed our stitch marker to one stitch before the next stitch marker we should have 26 stitches now counting from the stitch where we have placed our stitch marker to the next stitch uh, uh, to the last stitch we should have 23 double crochets what we will do now is that we will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and then we will turn around and we will make one double crochet into each and every double crochet until we reach our first uh, stitch we should have 26 double crochets 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 20 21 22 and 23 uh, counting our first chain starting chain through uh, chain 3 we uh, including starting chain 3 we had 23 double crochets now we are going to skip all the stitches from this uh, stitch marker to the next the next stitch will be made into next uh, stitch marker and make a double crochet into that now from this stitch marker to one stitch before our next stitch marker there should be 47 double crochets so I have already made one so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
the one stitch before our next stitch marker should be 47th stitch on from here to here I made a mistake maybe I should have placed this stitch marker uh, into the last stitch but it's okay now we are going to skip all the stitches from here to here there should be 26 stitches that we are going to slip as uh, going to skip and our next first double crochet will be made into next available double crochet and then one double crochet into each and every double crochet all the way to the end there should be 23 double crochets At the end of this round you should end up with 93 double crochets what we are going to do is we will make one two and three chain three and we will turn around and then we will make one front post double crochet into each and every stitch like that simple one front post double crochet into each and every stitch we are not going to make any increasing or any thing like that so simply make one front post double crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end just remember to make front post double crochet around the post of our starting chain three as well like that and then we will start working on uh, our star stitch we are going to make first row of the star stitch I will join the color here I am going to change the color so I will join the new yarn here you can continue the same yarn if you don't want to change the color and then I will make chain 3 and I will slip I will grab a loop from the second loop a second chain of the uh, from the hook and into the next chain as well and this is where we have uh, joined our yarn I'm going to pull up a loop from there and then I'm going to pull up a loop into next two stitches as well one and two these last loops which you are which you have just pulled these are going to I'm going to call it spike in next uh, when we are going to work on next um, star stitch so just remember these last two loops which we have just pulled we have six loops on our crochet hook we will pull through all of them and then we will make chain one and this is the eye this is called this tiny hole is called the eye of the star stitch we are going to insert the crochet hook into that eye of the star stitch and pull up a loop and this is what I called spike there are two loops we are going to insert the crochet hook from above into the back loop only and pull up a loop we are going to pull up a loop from on the base of the same spike this one and then I'm going to pull up a loop on the top of next two double crochets one and two and we have six loops on our crochet hook we will pull through all of them and then then I will make chain one these last two loops which uh, we pulled these will be called the spike of the star stitch and this is the eye of the star stitch so again insert the crochet hook into the eye of the star stitch and then into the back loop of the spike uh, into the back loop only of the spike again on the base of that spike and then into next two stitches so in total we should have six loops on our crochet hook we will pull through all of them and then make chain one I will repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then I will resume the video again I have just completed my second long, uh, second last uh, star stage and I thought maybe I should make the last one on camera we will pull through the eye and the spike and the base of the spike and next uh, double crochet and this is our la uh, what you call it starting chain three from the last round we will pull through 
that too and then we will complete our start stitch and then what we will do is we will make one half double crochet again on the top of our starting chain three like that now our first row of the star stitch is complete we will make chain two one and two this starting chain two counts as our first half double crochet now what we will do is this is the eye of the star stitch this one we will make one half double crochet into the eye of star stitch and then we will make two half double crochet into the eye of next star stitch one and two again we will go direct into the next eye of our star stitch i will show you guys from here that all these loops are going to be called the eye of our star stitches which I have shown right from the start that when we made chain one that was going to be our, the eye of our star stitch so all of uh, half double crochets are going to be made into those eye on, eyes only and uh, we are not going to make any stitches uh, anywhere else so simply make two half double crochets into each and every uh, eye of the star stitch and I will resume the video when I reach at the end of this round at the end of this round or from even from the last round as well you should have 46 uh, star stitches now we will make a uh, half half double crochet on the top of our starting chain 3 when we started this round so we made chain 3 we are going to make one half double crochet on the top of that chain 3 Here when we started we made just one half double crochet into the first eye of the double crochet uh, uh, first uh, eye of the star stitch because we have already made chain two here which was going to be counted as our first half double crochet so this completes this uh, what you call it star stitch and but in the rest of the eyes we made two half double crochets all the way to the end. Now what we are going to do now is that we will make, I am going to change the color and then I will join the other color of the yarn. You can continue the same color of the yarn if you guys want to but I am going to change the color. Chain 1, turn around. And this round is very simple and easy what we are going to do is we will make simple plain single crochet into each and every half double crochet including last uh, including uh, starting a uh, chain two as well so at the end of this round as well you should end up with 93 stitches or 93 single crochets like that make one single crochet into each and every stitch row number 13 is going to be uh, sorry row number 14 is going to be that we will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and we will turn around and then we will make we will skip first single crochet this one and into each of next single crochet we are going to make into each and every single crochet we are going to make a front post double crochets simple plain front post double crochet into each and every round uh, each and every stitch like that I will make rest of the stitches off camera just make simple plain front post double crochet into each and every stitch row number 15 is going to be that we will make chain one and turn around and then we will make one single crochet into the same stitch 
or on the base of our chain one make one single crochet onto that and then we will make one back post single crochet into each and every stitch like that one back post single crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end round number 16 is going to be we are going to make chain 2 1 and 2 and this counts as our first half double crochet so what we will do we will skip our first stitch and we will make We will make simply one half double crochet into each and every stitch. Simple plain half double crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end. one half double crochet into each and every stitch to the end now this is the pattern we need to repeat is uh, repeat and that is that we are going to repeat from the first uh, row of our star stitch this is where we started working on our uh, first row of our star stitch from here to here we are going to repeat two more times in the pattern it says that we repeat once uh, we, uh, we repeat this section section once more and then we repeat these two rounds of the star stitch once more and then what we do is that we will make one round of single crochet and then one round of uh, front post double crochet but I am going to repeat these two sections two more times uh, in the pattern they have skipped this uh, uh, back post single crochet and half double crochet into the last uh, section but I'm going to in a nutshell I'm going to repeat these sections from first uh, row of the star stitch to the last row we have just made we are going to repeat it two more times and then I will resume the video this is going to be the end of part one because uh, if I do rest of the cardigan in this video it will be too lengthy so that's why I will, I will end this video here there is just one thing that I wanted to say that I don't want to take uh, the credit for this uh, this pattern this is not my own pattern I followed a written pattern and I will share the link to that pattern in the com in the description box so it's uh, easy for you guys to go there and follow the written pattern if you guys prefer written pattern and um, it's very easy and simple pattern uh, very clear instruction with very clear instructions so i will do rest of the cardigan off camera i will repeat these sections these rounds i will repeat one two three four five i think these are six rounds which are i'm i'm going to repeat two more times and then i will fasten off and and then we will start working on the rest of our cardigan thank you so much for watching peace be upon you and happy crocheting